So, if you see the shape of the respective yield curves, so let us take the corporate bond curve, the SDL curve and the government bond curve. The shapes are quite different between the SLR and the non-SLR curves. So, if you take the corporate bond curve, it is inverted, which means that the 1 year and 2 year rates are higher than the 5 year, 10 year, 15 year rates. This is largely happening because banks are temporarily facing a credit to deposit ratio issue because of which there is pressure on the front end of the curve, uh, banks are raising deposits at higher costs and that is translated into higher bank CD rates and in turn 1 year, 2 year corporate bonds as well. However, if you take the government bond curve or the SDL curve, they are positive sloping because the issue of CD ratio does not plague the SLR uh, or the sovereign curves. Now, this uh, to a very large extent therefore determines the optimal strategies that you need to follow uh, while building duration in a portfolio. So, let us take the case of our short term bond fund. Uh, as you know there is a Macaulay duration cap uh, given by the regulator which is at 3 years. Now, the challenge then is how do you optimize uh, Macaulay duration through appropriate selection of carry and duration given the state of the 3 yield curves that we just discussed. Now, uh, the sweet spot uh, on the corporate bond curve therefore is up to 2 years because that is where the maximum yield is and as banks credit to deposit ratio problem starts to get solved and as RBI cuts rates, the inversion in the corporate bond curve will start to normalize and it will become positive sloping again which means that the absolute fall in yields in up to 2 year segment is going to be larger than in the 5, 10, 15 year segments on the corporate bond curve. However, the challenge is if you position everything in 1 or 2 year corporate bonds, you are not getting enough duration and therefore, even though yields will fall, uh, the amount of mark to market gains you will make will be constrained by lower duration of this portfolio. So, the way we are solving this in the short term bond fund is that we have built a carry book through uh, owning the sweet spots on the corporate bond uh, uh, curve which is largely up to 2 years and we are building duration through government bonds. Uh, as discussed earlier, uh, government bonds are very well poised over the next 2 to 3 years uh, because of various uh, medium term and short term factors including a very favorable demand supply equation and therefore, we believe all sort of long duration or medium duration is better built through the government bond curve while uh, carry income can be earned via front end corporate bonds and as the corporate bond curve normalizes, uh, you will also gain from mark to market there. So, to summarize the short term bond fund is almost maximizing the Macaulay duration allowed as per scheme categorization. Bulk of corporate bond exposure is up to 2 years because that to us is the sweet spot for the reasons discussed and duration is built via government bonds which is roughly up to 40 percent of the portfolio. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks, read all scheme related documents carefully.